Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're going to be adding uh, shooting to our character. So it's just going to be basically whenever we have the mouse button down, it's just going to send out a constant stream of bullets. So let's go ahead and go game object, 3D object, sphere. Scale it down to say 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 by 0 0.2. Let's go create material. Call it yellow. Drag it onto the sphere. All right, then let's go component, physics. Actually, no, that's all good. No, we're all good. So let's go ahead and rename this projectile. And we'll go ahead and create a C sharp script called projectile. We we'll drag our script on our projectile object. Then we'll open it up. And we'll go public load speed. And we'll go void on collision enter. And for now, we'll just go gamma g to set active false. And we'll go transform dot position plus equals new vector three speed zero zero. Alright, let's give it some speed. Say ten. Click play. Maybe a bit too fast. That appears to be... Alright, so we're going to do it on the y-axis. So let's make this zero times speed, and then we have to go times time dot delta time. All right, that should be much better. Yeah, awesome. All right, so we can go ahead and make that a prefab. It's a prefabricated object. Let me delete that. Then we can come into our player script. And the update function actually will go public game object projectile prefab. We go give input dot get mouse button zero. Instantiate project off refab you know, probably transform projectiles spawn you know, projectile spawn dot position projectile spawn dot rotation And spawn P. Make a bull, which is good amount of functioning smoke alarm at the moment, which is just great. Anyway, we'll go public bull spawn P. Start spawn P equals true. 
And here we'll go spawn p equals false. Then we'll go start protein spawn delay. Same as last time, we're going to go i numerator spawn delay. Yield return new. Wait for seconds. Just go public float projectile time. Projectile time. There we go. Spawn p equals true. So let's sign our projectile prefab. Now our spawn, let's go ahead and make a prefab and then we're gonna go right click prefab unpack completely. So now it's no longer prefab. So we're gonna take off the collider to the projectile script. And we'll just rename projectile spawn. Oh, we're also going to take off the mesh renderer. Alright, so now we can assign our projectile spawn. Projectile time, let's just make a one for testing purposes. And let's click play. Alright, cool, so that worked. So let's go ahead and make it a good projectile time, like 0 0.1. I think the projectile is a bit fast. Let's come to the prefab. Let's make it 0 0.25. All right, so now we need to put the projectile time a little bit lower so there's more of them. Alright, so one thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our projectile script and we're going to go ahead and actually let's just add all of it now. Let's go ahead and go start curatine lifetime. So we're going to not want all these gateway objects to add up so it can cause lag. So we're going to go I enumerator, lifetime, yield, return, new, wait for seconds, let's say 5, OF, which means float, and we'll go game object dot, no. We'll go destroy game object. Alright, gorgeous. Now we're going to make it so. Alright, so let's go ahead and go if collision. So game object dot tag equals brown then collision dot game object dot collision dot game object dot set active false. So let's go ahead and go not as bad. Go to the tags, call it brown, zoom out, 
sign the tag. And now on the left here, we should see that it is able to destroy brown cubes, which it is. All right, gorgeous. So now we've got a little bit more depth to the game. All right, so just really quickly, we're going to go to our bad prefab and we're going to go constraints and we're going to freeze all rotation. All right. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.